Hello and welcome to the final episode of our very special Fed Centennial Celebration Tour. What else can I show you in the little time that remains? This is quite obviously a device used to promote cardiovascular fitness. It's also used on occasion to perform stress tests to ensure that a particular entity or body is vigorous enough to withstand potentially adverse conditions. Some of you have asked to see the printing presses before we go. Sadly, they are at a location elsewhere, supervised by the Treasury. Or did I misunderstand you? Was that a sly dig at the Fed's electronic printing presses? Another wisecrack about the increased girth of its balance sheet. I can hardly show you something that's essentially invisible, can I? And why single out our Fed? All banks create money, don't they? Credit is extended, belief. Debt is formed, obligation. <laughs> Creditor and debtor beholden to one another. The money moves, and by moving somewhere, comes into being. The miracle of birth. One day, something doesn't even exist, and is therefore doing nothing. And the next day, it does exist, and can do things. For example, it can be used to influence matter, such as objects, substances, and beings causing them to change locations or to be arranged in various configurations, resulting in a new thing, such as a product, a service, or a dwelling. Or it can become part of an instrument, a financial instrument, influencing other instruments. Okay. We're almost out of time. Walk with me, won't you? I'll see you out. But do watch your step. Unfortunately, someone has been defecating down here after hours. Unobserved. Apparently, there's no restroom on this level, which could be an excuse, but is hardly a reason. There is a difference. Just as there's a difference between risky and safe, up and down, good and bad, as difficult as these things may be to discern, even with a very large staff. This appears to be an ordinary door, but it's locked. While the Fed doesn't physically produce our currency, it does oversee quality control. A bill of any denomination can wear out with constant handling, becoming tattered, torn, filthy, at which point it's destroyed. Well, that concludes our celebration. Thank you so much for being with me as we wish this extraordinary institution a very happy, very healthy 100th birthday. I hate to say goodbye. Please, won't you join me next time when I return with a new five-part series on the invisible hand of the market. Until then, I'm Sunny Boudreau, as always. <laughs>